Welcome back. We saw our first big snowfall of the season just last Monday. Yeah, and despite our graphic behind us, do not be alarmed. <laughs> it's not snowing this morning, but wintry weather has arrived with a full fury challenging people to clear those roads and the runways. These are the crews that clear the runways of ice and snow to keep aircraft arrivals and departures on the move. That help us keep the airport open on a daily basis. Lead plow, Airfield One, uh, whenever you are, we'll call you. RTV6 was on runway 23 right, which is 11,200 feet long. It is the longest of the three at Indianapolis International. Practicing the plan so when we actually have snow, that muscle memory kicks in and we uh, keep the airport open safely. Federal regulators require a one-time annual snow removal training session. The airport has 11 machines known as the MB-5. It's a combo plow, broom, and blower. The machines can help the team clear a runway in about 30 minutes. It's not uncommon. We've been out here in a snow fight for up to two days. It just depends on the weather and what we get. With Indianapolis getting an average of 25 inches of snow a year, this team lives with the threat of being called into work between now and March the 31st. That means Thanksgiving, Christmas, or New Year's could be spent on the runways. So these winter warriors, they're ready to roll any time the flurries fly. Roger that indeed. Indy's snow operations team there at the airport does not apply salt on the runways. There are some federally approved chemicals that can be used during severe weather to make sure that your flight leaves on time. And by the way, that MB5, that big machine that was the blower and the and the plow, only eight hundred thousand dollars. Oh, so, no big deal. You know, you if get Todd, it from your driveway. If Todd, you want to chip in and help us out, we could just use it on these snow days. Right? Hey.